Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that. Coinbase was up 3.4%, but other than that, not many other stocks moving on Friday. AMD was up 2.5%, but in this video, we're going to talk about some of the most exciting stocks in the stock market right now, like Meta Platforms, for example. And if you guys remember, they're up 43% in just the past three months, but the last 12 months, they're up even more, 144% to $484 per share for Meta Platforms. We're also going to be talking about NVIDIA in this video, another stock market favorite. In the last month, they're up 20%. It seems like they just won't stop climbing and climbing up 78% percent in just the last three months and 267 percent in the past 12 months they're now at 881 dollars per share so are they still both good stories growth stories ahead which one's better we're going to answer that and more in this video so make sure you stick out throughout the entire video into the very end and make sure you're subscribed on youtube so you don't miss out on any of the full length videos in the future just smash a thumbs up on this video, share this video with a friend, and without further ado, let's dive right into it. So first up, we have NVIDIA. Right now, they have a PE ratio of 73, which is not as overvalued as you might have thought on the PE ratio, um, considering they are up 2,227% 2, in the last five years. Holy cow. So it's good to see that their earnings have been in return growing with their share price also. Making their EPS recently as high as $5 per share on their EPS. Now, considering their next earnings is in May, we still have a while till the next earnings statement. And we can also see that if we look at some hedge fund activity, we can see that there is more sellers with hedge fund activities selling than buying right now in Q4 2023. Um, in Q3, it was even around 51.49%. And in Q2, we had more sellers. So overall, ultimately, there's been more buyers when it comes to hedge funds. So they have got that down right. Just recently, we've seen the selling starting to pick up. So that could give you a little bit of insights. However, if we look at what insiders are doing, we can see that they were selling in 2023. We can see in September and June. However, if we fast forward to March 2024, we can see that more insiders are actually buying shares, 647 shares compared to 376 shares bought. So that's definitely something to consider. Now, this was a very interesting article, so I want to go over it with you guys. Meet the most innovative Magnificent 7 stock according to this key metric. NVIDIA captured the market spotlight in 2023 and so far in 2024. But Meta Platforms, ticker symbol M-E-T-A, is just as good, if not a better story in this analyst's opinion. In less time than a year and a half between November 2nd, 2022 and March 8th, 2024, Meta went up a staggering 458%. The stock went from an eight-year low to an all-time high in relatively a short period. A lot was due to Meta being oversold in 2022, but the bigger story is that Meta has one of the best business models in the world. Here are the metrics that show why Meta Platforms is the most innovative Magnificent 7 stock company and why it should be worth buying even though the stock price is the highest it's ever been. Investing in product improvements on an absolute basis, Meta Platforms spends the second most money on research and development only behind alphabet but as a percentage of revenue no magnificent seven company comes close to meta platforms when it comes to research into development to revenue ratio of 28 percent which overall i see as a lot of risk but you know meta uh, meta platform ceo mark zuckerberg probably sees it as a lot of reward especially right now when ai is dominating everything and you got to get ahead in that research and development phase okay so that's definitely something to consider here you can see a chart of who has the most um revenue to research and development and meta platforms being purple they're number one brown is number two which is alphabet and then nvidia is number three after that 
Okay, so Meta Platform is leading that in a huge way, which could, like I said, be important right now due to the AI boom um, and whoever gets ahead on that. Part of the reason Apple and Meta have such high research and development expenses is their nature of the business. The two largest companies in the, in the communication sector profit from their platforms. For Alphabet, it's mainly Google, Google Cloud, and YouTube. For Meta, it's driven by Facebook and Instagram largely, and also WhatsApp. A lot of people use WhatsApp too. These platforms are cash cows, but take fine tuning. And in Meta, Meta's case, Instagram required a major overhaul to combat TikTok. The threat of TikTok was largely responsible for Meta's sell-off in 2022, compounded by broader tech selling off and disgruntling shareholders who were tired of the company's spending money on the metaverse. And remember that? They were spending an extreme amount on the metaverse, and people didn't really like that, and it's unprofitability re uh, reality lab segment also. However, Instagram improvement has worked wonders for the company. Meta estimates it has over 3.1 billion people who use at least one of its apps every single day. That's nearly half of the world. Okay, so that's a large audience. The company leverages artificial intelligence through its apps, and AI was a big part of making Meta's answer to TikTok reels and resounding success. Meta has a wide moat. Also, if you listen to the Meta Q4 um, 2023 earnings call, you probably heard the company talk at length that it's been investing in AI and the metaverse for some time and continues to do so. But now it operates a lean business and plans to keep it that way. How can Meta invest so aggressively in growth while also staying so lean? Simply put, it's because it doesn't need to spend a lot of money relative to what its platforms provide. Apple, for example, has to make new cell phones and physical products. Tesla has to sell cars. NVIDIA has to sell GPU units. Okay, Amazon has to sell subscriptions, products to its e-commerce platforms, books to clients. Microsoft has to sell software subscriptions, physical products, and manage Microsoft Azure clients. Alphabet has the closest business model to meta platforms of the Magnificent Seven companies. It's built a wide moat in search, and its platforms are more vulnerable to disruption than meta platforms. Okay, that's an opinion. Um, obviously, everything that comes to moat is an opinion at the end of the day. Um, you know, the, he's probably saying that, this analyst is probably saying that because... AI is really taking over and with search, when you type in something like ChatGPT could definitely take over Google eventually unless Google dominates in that section. But he, what he's failing to realize is that something can easily take over Instagram and Facebook like TikTok, for example, or a new platform or you know, if YouTube becomes extremely popular in the future. Instagram is not bulletproof and neither is Facebook. But in this analyst's opinion, it is. From a business model standpoint, there is arguably no better ca cash cow than Meta. Its digital real estate has become one of the most valuable tech points for advertisers to interact directly with consumers based on their preferences. Meta has physical products too, like Meta Quest, a virtual reality headset. Its business isn't reliant on the performance of these products, however, so they act as a cherry on top of the investment thesis rather than a make or break factor. And this article keeps going on. You can pause it and read through it if you want. Feel free to pause the video. So if we take a quick look at Meta, we can see their old all-time high was around $379 per share, and they went to fall a large amount, down 75% in a very short amount of time, down to $93 per share. We were buying heavy at that time, but if we scroll down, we could actually see that their PE ratio is 32, implying that yes, they are a better deal than NVIDIA at the moment. If you don't take in growth or anything like that into consideration and just look at the PE ratio, how much um, you know EPS they're bringing in right now compared to the share price, then yeah, Meta Platforms is a better deal at $484 per share. Personally, I'm not buying anything under um, even, I want to get under $300 per share, which I don't know if that's possible, 
but I'll be willing to wait because my average cost for meta platforms is around $150 per share or lower. So I'm not in any rush to be buying meta platforms anytime soon, especially at all time highs. However, if you're in a rush to get into meta platforms, I would wait for a dip at least under $400 per share is probably a good price target to be buying uh, meta platforms once again, especially if you're a long-term holder and you plan just a dollar cost average or hold for you know five years or 10 years, then yeah, buying around $400 cost averaging in anything under $400 per share could pay beneficial for long-term. Remember, this is not financial advice, just some of my own opinions. Um, we can see it's a $1.2 trillion company at, at this point. And there is room for growth still. There's still a, a long runway ahead and meta platforms could split to $100 per share again. But if they don't split, I think $1,000 per share for meta platforms is not an unrealistic price target in the next five years, for example. And overall, these two companies, the best thing you can do is dollar cost average in. And then when the stock price takes a dive, you know, it goes down to $700, $600 or for Meta, $400 to $300 per share. Then you just dollar cost average in a little bit heavier for long term. Long term investing in these companies are going to be the best thing to do. However, if you want to learn how to trade options and puts and calls on Meta platforms and NVIDIA, or day trading, short-term trading, make sure you message me, The Daily Stock Market, on Instagram. 227,000 followers, 887 posts. And if you click on success number uh, to 2024, you can see all the past success we've been having in the group. We have daily success all the time, but unfortunately, I can't post every single you know success story every single day. So these are just some of the highlights. Here we can see DM me to get access to the private group trading, option signals, buy and sell, best stock market family on the internet, guaranteed. $200 stock market book club included also. So if you're gonna buy a bunch of stock market books or like to read books, this is the family for you. And even if you were just gonna watch or buy like broad uh, financial books like The Psychology of Money and Rich Dad and Poor Dad, we have all those in our book club included at no extra cost. VIP chat rooms to stay ahead of the curb where you can talk with other people who are more in the know and more advanced traders um, so that you could bounce your ideas off them or ask questions to me directly, plus a lot more. Here you can see the success that we've been having around 80% success rate on short-term trading. Uh, we could see that another student made over $3,400. And another one made $588. So the success is uh, very vast at this point. If you, want, if you want to become another success story, just reach out to me on Instagram. Message me here. I'll shoot you over my website so you can see if it makes sense to you and it's inside your budget. We'll go ahead and help you get started and make some money together in the stock market. Thank you guys for watching to the very end of the video. I appreciate all the love and support, not only on Instagram, but YouTube as well. So drop a big thumbs up if you made it this far. Comment below that you made it to the very end of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.